Though the weather mm. cools down beginning in September, it remains perfect for nature treks, horseback riding, and apple picking. I can imagine that'll be very good for relaxing. Very good. Top 10 beautiful American fall destinations. With it being that time of the year, I thought it'd be a good time to check out this video. Very interested to see how beautiful some of these destinations are. Right now, I've got some thunderstorm going on over here. I don't think the mic will pick up the rain, but it is hitting the windows heavy today. Just before we jump into the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button. It massively helps out the channel we're growing. But yeah, let's just jump straight in and press play. Welcome to Mojo Travels. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 beautiful American fall destinations. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels right. and ring the bell to be notified about our latest to videos. Seeing. Oh, they get a For beautiful. For this list, we're looking at some of oh. the most charming and scenic American getaways for autumn. What's your favorite fall getaway? Number 10, Door County, Wisconsin. If you're the sort of traveler who's looking for breathtaking fall foliage... Just quickly, if you've been to any of these places, do let me know in the comments. Let me know if it was beautiful in person, as much as they're saying in this video. Edge, you've come to the right place. And by that, we mean both this video and Door County, Wisconsin. Within the American Midwest, you're hard-pressed to locate a more stunning display of colors than those found here that in mid-October. So cool. Whether you're the outdoorsy type who likes to immerse yourself in the fall foliage by going that hiking, or if you prefer to appreciate the view from the comfort of a rental cottage, Door County can oblige. The coastal views certainly don't hurt either. As if the scenery isn't enough, the state of Wisconsin is commonly referred to as America's Dairyland. We're not sure about you, but we think that mm. few things pair better with the autumn colors than a cheese tasting. Number nice. nine, Mount Shasta, California. Oh, when that you looks think so of cool. fall getaways, chances are that California isn't the first state that comes to mind. To be clear, I've only ever seen a mountain in videos or in photos. I've never seen a mountain in person. I would absolutely love to see what one looks like because they do look beautiful in videos and photos. The Golden State is blessed with pleasant weather pretty much all year round, but that largely robs the hotspots of that quintessential fall vibe. Exploring the Mount Shasta area, you'll find a completely me. different side of California, one that the average trip to Cali totally overlooks. Mount Shasta and the Greater Shasta Trinity National Forest are located along the state's northern border, near Oregon. The colors here might not be as vibrant as those found in the American Northeast, but they're impressive in their own right. Besides, the sheer beauty of the northern California wilderness makes up the difference. Following the McLeod and Sacramento rivers is especially enjoyable. Wow. Look at that view. Number 8. Lakes Region, New Hampshire. Not willing to compromise on the foliage front? No problem, you're still spoiled for choice. The Lakes Region of New Hampshire is among the greatest displays of autumn colors anywhere in America. And given that the loosely defined area encompasses dozens of lakes, it's not hard to find your own little slice of paradise. The region actually hits its peak during the summer months, when people come from far and wide to enjoy the beaches and practice various water sports. When the crowds head home, however, the region is utterly transformed, going from a bustling family vacation getaway to a place of rest and relaxation, a natural environment in which to recharge. Though the weather mm. cools down beginning in September, it remains perfect for nature treks, horseback riding, and apple picking. I can imagine that'll be very good for relaxing. Very good. Number 7. Stowe, Vermont. When you hear Stowe, chances are that you think skiing or snowboarding. And you're not wrong. After the summer ends, however, but before that oh-so-inviting powder gets dumped on oh, Mount cool. Mansfield, something magical happens. The leaves change. Hiking and mountain biking are two of the most popular fall pastimes around Stowe, but many will tell you that looking at the fall foliage is an activity unto itself. Stowe boasts the most colorful trees in all of Vermont, and there are those who think it's a contender for best in all of the United States. Whether you embark mm. on a scenic drive, take to the water by canoe, that or decide to venture out on the trails, you're sure to be no awestruck by the scenery. For a highlights reel, consider joining a guided tour. For an even more unique perspective, try ziplining, which is becoming an increasingly popular fall activity in and around Stowe. Man, I don't know, I have respect for this guy, he's on a zipline. The ziplines I've seen before, they're massive. They're really high up, I don't know if I wanna get on one. So I think I might pass on that one. Number six. West Glacier, Montana. This is another destination that might disappoint those in search of fiery red foliage. But who decided that that's the standard for autumn beauty? West Glacier, most famous for Glacier National Park, is essentially painted a golden yellow during the fall months. 
The resulting sight is utterly unlike the foliage of the East Coast, sure, but it's breathtaking in its own right, especially if you've seen the area at its most green and lush. Crowds dissipate substantially when school starts up again, still meaning that, that fall in West Glacier is inherently peaceful. This has the added benefit of the local wildlife being far more present and easy to spot. Please note, most of the park's facilities are closed by early October, so only experienced campers should consider staying on site. We've seen a lot of videos about deadly animals in America, and I'm just looking at some of these places thinking, wow, they look absolutely beautiful, they look absolutely amazing, but how many scary animals are in that area? Is there snakes? Is there bears? Is there more scary animals? I can't help thinking that, even though these places look beautiful, but maybe, I don't know. Thankfully, there are plenty of local rental properties. Number 5. Aspen, Colorado This is a destination that requires little introduction, and in this case, that might actually work against it. As far as West Coast fall getaways go, Aspen is about as picturesque as it gets. The only problem? People know it, and that means it can get a little crowded, even in autumn. That being said, prices aren't nearly as competitive as during ski season, so you've still got that working in your favor. The right. aesthetic appeal of Aspen speaks for itself year-round, but when the trees turn golden yellow and orange in the fall months, there is an extra bit of magic in the air. To immerse yourself in the fall foliage, consider taking a walk in Hunter Creek Valley, where the colors are at their most impressive. Of course, the landscape of peaks and valleys surrounding Aspen means that you'll have scenic views any direction you look. Number 4. Bar Harbor, Maine Let's begin by addressing what is surely your most okay. pressing concern. Does fall coincide with lobster season? Well, you see, in Maine, there isn't nearly as strict of a lobster season as you may have encountered elsewhere in your travels. So yes, rest assured that you can enjoy the autumn scenery and get yourself a full lobster dinner. Mm. Maine is richer than most when it comes to quaint coastal I'd towns and villages. Even so, most people agree that Bar Harbor is among the most picture-perfect towns it's in the state, cold. if not all of New England. A big part of the appeal is not only the town itself, but also Acadia National Park, which is located just southwest of our destination. The vast tracts of unspoiled wilderness, all decked out in fall colors, never fail to top even the highest expectations. Number 3. Saugerties, New York Not only do New right. Yorkers get to live in one of the most culturally rich and vibrant cities in the world, but they're also relatively close to some of America's best fall foliage. This is New York. Between the Catskills and the Adirondacks, New York State has got natural space galore. And truly, you won't go wrong with... When I think of New York, all I think of is big buildings and city life and everything else. I don't think of something like this. This is really beautiful. So it's interesting to see this side of it. Saugerties. The town of 20,000 is not only nestled between the Catskills Mountains and the Hudson River, but dating back to the times of Dutch settlement, it boasts any number of historic buildings. The Catskills region is bursting with festivals, beer and cider tasting rooms, outdoor activities, and various agricultural experiences. Pumpkin picking. Altogether, it makes for an epic fall getaway with amazing foliage. Number 2. Great Smoky Mountains, Tennessee and North oh, Carolina okay. I've so heard named of this. because of the fog that often descends on the area, Tennessee's Great Smoky Mountains take the term atmospheric to, well, new heights. The region, which includes Great Smoky Mountains National Park, it does is a cold. great choice in spring, summer, or fall. But early October through November is when the landscape is at its most impressive. Because of the various elevations in the area, the Great Smoky Mountains offer a longer window of time in which to see the fall colors than most destinations. If you're visiting on the earlier side of the season, take a drive up Klingman's Dome Road for a breathtaking view. By early November, the best coloring has descended to lower elevations. To ensure that you get the sort of fall foliage you're hoping for, it pays to check in on the status of the leaves as your travel date approaches and adjust accordingly. Number 1. Blue Ridge Parkway, Virginia, Virginia. and North Carolina We've seen and discussed some beautiful fall destinations today. But if you're a photographer, or just the sort of traveler who prioritizes beautiful landscapes and scenery above all else, this is the clear choice. The Blue Ridge Parkway isn't just a good place to see the fall foliage. A more accurate description is that it's an ocean so of big fall as well. colors. And by loading into the car and taking it's a trip massive. along the parkway, you can essentially set sail on the sea of yellow, orange, and red. The Blue Ridge Parkway is among the country's most celebrated scenic drives any time of year, but autumn is when it shines brightest. And with plenty of fall-centric things to see and do along the way, it's the whole package. 
Also, if you have time for a multi-state trip, the parkway will eventually take you to our previous entry, Tennessee's Great Smoky Mountains. Those places looked absolutely amazing, absolutely beautiful. Should be the right words, actually. I would definitely enjoy going and visiting places like that. Like I said earlier, if you've been to any of these places, let me know if the video gave it justice. Are they more beautiful in person? Yeah, definitely let me know in the comments. But thank you so much for checking out the video. I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like button. And if you want to go one step further, hitting that subscribe button will massively make my day. But for now, I'll catch you on the next reaction.